Hello, I pray that you are well today. The word of God from Proverbs chapter 12. It says, diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. God calls us to be diligent, to do the best we can, to do the best we can for God. I find great comfort in Colossians 3 verse 23, where it says, work at it with all your heart as serving the Lord, not people. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as serving the Lord, not people. And so, candidly, there can be some days where I have a lot of energy, that's great, and some days I have little energy, and that's unfortunate, but whatever energy I have, I try to give my best because to be diligent, because God wants me to do so. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. How is your heart today? Are you anxious? Are you weighed down? What are you carrying? If we could see with our eyes what you're carrying in your life, how big of a weight would it be? You know, many, many years ago, there was a famine in the Horn of Africa region. And people talked about it for many years until people saw what it looked like for children to not have food, the distension of their stomachs, the hollow eyes, the, the physical consequences of famine. And as soon as people saw that, they opened up their heart and opened up their wallets and they helped them. So consider this for a moment. Anxiety weighs down the heart. Imagine we could see with spiritual eyes how much weight everyone's carrying. I would have a tendency to tell you we would be more compassionate and more patient and more kind because people are carrying big weights right now. Anxiety weighs the heart down. Whatever you're carrying, whomever you're carrying, whatever situations you're carrying, please know you are not carrying them alone. And it says this statement, but a kind word cheers it up, cheers up your heart. What does God want you to know today? God wants you to know that he knew you would be in this day. Now we are in the second half of the month of October, the year 2020, a year we never thought would be this way, but recognize nothing is a surprise to God. And even the details of your life and the details of my life are not a surprise to God. And God is able to do far more than you ask or think. And that you matter. Your life is sacred. You are loved with an everlasting love. For it says this statement, anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. In Hebrews chapter 13, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Matthew 7, 7, Ask will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. God invites us, he invites us to come before him today. You don't need to live in anxiety but we might live in prayer, that we give to God everything we are experiencing. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. Choose your friends carefully. For those of us that are parents, I'm sure we've said that to our children. Who influences us? And I might be so bold, choose your friends carefully as well. What do you allow in your ears? What is what you allow into yourself? Not just your friends, but what you receive, what, what you watch on television, what newspapers and magazines do you read, what things do you hear on the radio, what is the diet of information you are receiving. Choose it carefully. The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. The lazy do not roast any gain, but the diligent feed on the riches of the hunt. Again, diligence. 
give God our best. And verse 28 of chapter 12, the way of the righteous, in the way of the righteous, there is life along the path, along that path is immortality. This isn't all there is. We are going to have eternal life because of Jesus Christ. And no matter how many more days God gives you or how many days God gives me, we know we walk with him day by day. And I, I want to end on this thought. Verse 25, anxiety weighs down the heart. Whatever you're carrying, God knows the details even right now. And a kind word cheers it up. I pray you know you're not alone. I pray you know he is with you. I pray you know right now that the thing that causes you the most concern, the heart of God wants to hear. Please pray with me. Lord God, may those of us that are weighed down by anxiety and stress and fear and uncertainty, may you lift us up. May you take from us our worry and give to us faith instead. May we know your word, that we are your children and that you will always be with us. And your love for us is wider and higher and deeper and longer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I pray for your heart today.